today is Monday, September 16th, and it's going to be a beautiful day here in Colorado. It is around 8.30. I just had breakfast of just some uh, Greek yogurt with granola, and today we have a few errands to run, and today is c to 5k day so i need to go running later i'm gonna wait until like after work hours because that's what time i went yesterday even though it was sunday but i really liked going kind of at like dusk to run so that was really nice because there wasn't anyone on the trail so that's what i'm gonna do today is i'm gonna wait till dusk to do that i need to drop off some well drop off a poshmark order and then I have two small packages to mail at the post office. And then I also need to go to the thrift store and Dollar Tree to shop for a Halloween collab that I'm doing on my Thrifty Thursday video. But that video is going to come out actually on Sunday instead of my normal Thursday. Um, I need to work on purging some more stuff for my minimalism game. And then I have one lesson that I want to develop and get posted on my teacher's page, teacher's page. So we have quite a bit that we are going to be doing today. Um, but first I think I'm going to work on that lesson because it's only 8.30 and um, stores probably aren't quite open yet or they're probably open at 9. So I'm going to leave a little more after 9 o'clock, go to the post office and all that jazz. So, I will see you after that. I went to let Augustus in, and he's barking at the Apollo, our next door neighbor's dog, and Apollo's like, you can see a shadow. He's like, whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna enjoy this mountain view. <laughs> While you bark, Augustus, I have nothing. I don't want to have anything to do with you right now. <laughs> I need to put some stuff away, but I did end up turning my desk here in the office. It was at like cutting off the room and it just, I wasn't feeling productive. So I turned it to face the window and I like it so much better. All right, so it's 10 o'clock, got dressed, have some makeup on and we are heading to Dollar Tree and the thrift store. I have a list of things I'm looking for. I'm not only buying stuff for this Halloween collab, but I'm also like actually needing stuff at Dollar Tree. Um, so yeah, I have a little list. And I've been selling stuff for the minimalism game, like some of the stuff that I've put in the minimalism game, I've been selling. And so I've just been collecting all that money into an envelope. And that's what I'm going to use today to buy my items. But first, we're going to head to the post office, and then we will be going to the thrift store. So, I'll see you at the thrift store. thrift store and Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is right next to the thrift store so it is perfect. I got some things for my Halloween collab from Dollar Tree in the Ark so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I'm not going to show you those things you're just going to have to watch the video um, that came out before this because <laughs> this is going to come up after um, on September 22nd and um, see what I got. So I'll link it up in the cards above so you can see uh, that video of what I got today. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna treat myself to some lunch this afternoon out and then go home. Um, and what else did I say I have to do today? Oh yeah, I need to record the Halloween collab video and then I don't know what else. So I'll just catch up with you in a little bit. All right, so I've been home for a little while now and I thought I would show you um, some of the things that I got from the thrift store and from 
Dollar Tree. I'm not sharing with you uh, the Halloween stuff because that stuff is coming out in Thrifty Thursday videos. Um, so not going to see any Halloween stuff today. Uh, but at the Dollar Tree, I got <laughs> a little thing of ranch dressing, some nightlight bulbs. Hopefully these will fit my Himalayan salt lamp. And we needed a trash can for the bedroom. So those are the extra things, I think. Yep, that's all the extra things that I got uh, from Dollar Tree today. It wasn't everything on my list, but that's okay. Um, then at the thrift store today, I picked up a couple of shirts for Ray. He's just, he's really into like graphic and cool shirts. So I got him this shirt. Uh, this brewing brewing company shirt who doesn't like the brewing company shirt and then um, this cool like the Colorado sea with like a flame in it and I thought that was pretty uh, pretty cool and let's see they were I think I got each one of them for yeah, each one was either a dollar or a dollar fifty. So I can't beat that if they don't fit him when he comes home. It's not a lot of money lost. So I can't complain there. Um the other things I got at the thrift store, I got I thought these were so cute for Christmas. So I got two of these uh plates with the reindeer. They're the exact same. Um, they were $3.99, but with my half off, I got them both, uh, they were each $2. And then the last thing I got was just this little purple plate. Um, we have some new neighbors who moved in across the street. And so I got this plate to take over <sighs> some cookies and it was $1.99, but half off for me. So I got it for $1.50. That's my little home today. Go up to the computer, and get some work done, and I will catch back with you in a little bit. All right, so I'm just kind of cleaning out um, this cabinet today for the minimalism game. Got rid of a couple things. Uh, but now I'm just putting it back in, and this is just snoozing away. It's a few minutes after four. I'm just getting my craft on today. So I'm cutting up some Halloween fabric. I'm going to make, my goal is to make a scrappy quilt with all these different Halloween patterned um, pieces of fabric. So I'm just cutting it uh, to use. Um, shout out to my mom's friend, Martha, who's been giving me all of this fabric because now I can use it. Um, so I'm just cutting up strips. They're two inch by three and a half inch strips. And I will of course keep you posted throughout my videos of um, updates and progress of it. I don't know if it'll be finished by Halloween, um, but that is the goal, fingers crossed. Um, I sold another thing on the auction page, but I'm done selling stuff for a while now and uh unless i find like really good stuff while i'm doing this minimalism clean out and gus is just hanging out got him a new rawhide so he's pretty excited um it's getting like super cloudy and windy outside i'm hoping that the weather holds out um throughout this evening until i can get my run in if it does happen to rain then i'll just do some weights today or i'll do some cardio uh, today because running is cardio and then I'm also waiting for a phone call from my dentist because when I went to um, the dentist last week they did an x-ray and on this side of my face underneath like I'm guessing underneath the bone and everything there was a huge 
mass that looked abnormal and he called me Friday and said that he wanted to talk to me more about it today and I'll probably be needing to go to an ear, nose, and throat doctor. Excuse me, I would be lying if I said I wasn't concerned and didn't get a little upset about it on Friday because I did because he just called and was like, can't talk to you now, I will talk to you on Monday. So I'm like, okay, great. Um, so just kind of waiting for his phone call and then after his phone call, I will assess the weather situation and then go either running or do cardio here at home, but I'll keep you updated. talk to them they're actually coming next weekend so I'm super excited about that um, and we're gonna go to a Denver Broncos game which is gonna be awesome um, but I was talking to them and I did get a call back from my dentist and he seems to think I might have I'm gonna say this wrong sinusitis I don't know if that's even the word but or polyps so I'm going to be going to an ear nose and throat doctor coming up uh, soon so we'll see how that goes um, but it's really nice that he was thorough and told me uh, what was wrong and what needs to happen next what the next steps are so that was great to hear it has been kind of sprinkling on and off outside I'm giving it till 6 30 because I want to cut a little bit more fabric it's definitely raining um, over the mountain right now so We'll see what it's doing at 6.30. Um, usually I would just walk over to the truck, but I think I'm gonna drive just in case it is raining and then I can just hop in the car and come home. But I will keep you posted. But, hey guys, um, here's what I got so far with my cutting. So I've been cutting lots of scraps. I really wish I had a craft. <laughs> table it kind of sucks not having one because I'm like bending over this table um, but just gonna keep cutting away on this Halloween fabric for my Halloween uh, quilt well I was all prepared to go to the track and my neighbor flagged me down and he said look at your car <laughs> it has a freaking flat tire. It's ridiculous. I'm going to video it for you right now. <sighs> yep, there's a nail in there. Sucks. Alright, so I think the flat tire was just a sign that I'm not supposed to do any working out today. <laughs> I'm just not in the mood now. I'm just really frustrated. Um, I'm waiting for USAA to come out and change the tire and then I get to get a discount tire in the morning. Yay, can't wait. Um, but I did go to the mailbox and my new coffee maker came. Yay. I feel like I am like always buying coffee makers. So can you please comment down below which coffee makers are the best? I am not, a, I do not want a Keurig. I hated it. I'm not as opposed to an espresso that's kind of on my wish list right now of what I would be going for next um, but this is just a $20 black and decker I wanted a programmable one 12 cup coffee maker so I'm gonna put it together while I'm waiting for people to get here well I'm gonna eat dinner first because I know I need to eat I'm just gonna put this together and I guess to tomorrow I'm just gonna double up my workouts um, but that's going to conclude the vlog today. I was hoping to take you to the track, but I just didn't get to. Um, so thank you so much for following along. Don't forget to subscribe because when we hit 100, my husband and I are doing the 100 subscribers special and it's going to be awesome. So you don't want to miss it. And make sure to like this video if you like what you saw today. All right. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.